so it is, oh wait, so it is checkout time, we got a late checkout, just an extra hour, but it does, it did come in handy because Natalie woke up at like 10.40, but <clears throat> we're all cleaned up um, pretty good for the most part, I'd say we're not that messy, a couple bottles, some garbage, the, the beds are a little dirty I guess, or just like messy, but I gotta say, it was uh, not bad. This isn't uh, too bad of an establishment. Isn't the greatest thing in the world, but uh, definitely not the worst. The location I would like a lot, because we're in Clifton Hill. We're near the arcades and um, all that good stuff. It's a good amount of stuff near us, so we can walk to whatever we wanted. The restaurant was a huge shocker. Remington's of Niagara steak and seafood. I was really shocked about. Um, I really liked it. So just to give you a quick door, small little desk here, you know, coffee maker, all that good stuff. Really small TV for the size of the drawer. Like, that's like my monitor at home. One of my monitors. A little bit of a dining table there. We just used it for the ice tray. There is uh, a nice window here that goes and looks out onto the parking lot. Beautiful scenery there. Uh, but at least um, that is a balcony, so there is a door behind that curtain that you can open up and go outside. It's kind of nice. Um, air conditioner was pretty good. I like that. Air conditioner is pretty mandatory for me. Two queen beds. Um, we each had our own. Natalie likes to roll around a lot, so just to, just to save... Um, oh, wait, sorry, capitalize on space and, you know, make sure there is no feuds. We had our own beds. No cable there. Washroom's decent. Actually had jacuzzi jets in there. But the only thing that Nally said she was missing was a uh, full length mirror, which I understand. You want to check yourself out. Um, <clears throat> make sure your outfit's all nice and coordinated, but you can't do that. Um, so we still have about 30 minutes or 35 more minutes, so we have to really rush out of here. Natalie brought some bags down. She's very, very sweet, very, very caring for me. Uh, she did push me a little bit this weekend, but she has been very considerate of me, so I do love her for that. And, um, yeah, we're going to go to IHOP, like we mentioned last night. Natalie has never been to IHOP before, which is blasphemous, because even I've been there a few times. I don't even like pancakes. So IHOP stands for Internal House, uh, International House of Pancakes. It's mainly uh, based in the U.S. There's in many Canadian locations. Usually around places like here or convention centers, there are some. But yeah, like, Natalie loves her pancakes. Um, so I'm really shocked that she's never been there. So she deserves to give it a try. You know, it's a claim for its pancakes. And there she is. And we will be heading out soon. I know. Who is it? Oh, it's a beautiful lady. <laughs> oh, the, the car kept booting yeah. you out? I left my, my key in the in my bag and then I put it in the trunk and it was like beeping at me and I was like what? <laughs> yeah my I car left my key in the trunk. My car warns you if the car key is stuck in the car or in the trunk uh, by like beeping the hell out of you and when and you try to close, close the trunk it won't close it will keep popping open and one time it was happening I thought Natalie was just like not closing things correctly but yeah Cool. Of course, that would be the conclusion that you came to. Cool little feature in my car. <laughs> so we're going to relax just for a little bit more and then we will head out to IHOP. So, we are here at IHOP and look, they actually have maple syrup right on the table. You are really close some. to the... <laughs> you're really close to that. Some blueberry butter pecan, strawberry and regular old fashion. Unfortunately though, these aren't 100% Canadian maple syrup. Uh, Natalie, tell them about your outrage. Okay. <sighs> syrup on pancakes is like a topping on a burger. Like ketchup or mustard or relish. Like a basic topping. It should be free, okay? And they charge like $5.99 for a small container of like real Canadian maple syrup. Real Canadian maple syrup. And I 
I'm not paying $5.99 for like a little cup of maple syrup. That's just ridiculous. Like, so I'm gonna eat this artificial crap, even though it's not as good as the regular maple syrup. Blasphemous. And all the prices have like US, US equivalents. <clears throat> because this is, this place is obviously geared towards Americans, right? Like Americans are gonna come here and get Canadian maple syrup because like, mm, Canadian maple syrup, we all have that down there, right? So, yeah, that's how they get to charge a premium. And the prices are ridiculous. It's like $20 for a dollar. Last time I was here with the guys, it was like, I think I was complaining about the same thing. And if you think about it, it's like what? Three eggs in that omelet? Three eggs is like what? Maximum four bucks for like the best eggs possible. And the toppings are like what? Three bucks? Like a bunch of little crappy meats inside? And then you're charge me 20 bucks for Come back. That's okay. You gotta give Natalie her IHOP experience. I didn't get the omelet this time. I just got normal breakfast platter. But you know, it's a bit much. We got our food and we're gonna be real quick because I'm hungry. I got the strawberry banana pancakes. We got some extra hash browns and whatever that is. Uh, sausage links, ham, bacon, hash browns, and my eggs. Although it's supposed to come with pancakes, but she switched it. Alright, okay. let's eat. So, this train that's currently passing by has been passing by for like I don't know, five, ten, five minutes. ten minutes. We've been quite delayed. Uh, Natalie was driving part of the way back because my ankle's hurting. Uh, and now I'm taking back over. And obviously, the time where we take over has to be when this train comes up. So now we're sort of back on track. And we'll be heading home fairly soon. We just wanted to dodge all of the possible traffic because I know that once it hits like 4.30 or 5, it's going to get busy on the 401 again. So, we just want to be home and relax, you know? So, well, we're almost there according to uh, your little GPS thing. We'll be there about half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah, it's not bad. Plus it we'll... was quite a, I feel like quite a long drive though. No, it felt short. I'm sure. Okay, well, I was driving, so it felt long. <laughs> <laughs> and like, oh, such bad drivers on the road. Come on, Care. dude, you have to fucking... been signaling for like the longest time and you decided to just go. How is he a punk? No, no, not him, him. Oh. The guy behind me. I see. Anyway, like I was saying, so many bad drivers, and most of them, I realized, were American. <laughs> um, and when I say bad drivers, I just mean like, what's the word? Uh, aggressive drivers. Yeah. Like, so many people like refusing to let me in, or like, following so close. It was like, I hate when people do that. There's literally no reason for you to be so close to me and if i were to have tapped on the brake he would have hit us and then whose fault is it like hello you get hit from the behind they're home next right on to appleby line you should never be falling close enough that that, that happens so we're heading home Oh, look. Apple for about one kilometer. Speaking of which, we saw the most adorable dog. I kind of wish we got footage of it. <laughs> and it was like, it was so huge and fluffy. It was like, it had like a husky face. I don't know what kind of dog was it. I'm really bad with dog breeds. Keep right on to Highway 403. It mostly looked like a husky to me, except huge, like fat and fluffy. <laughs> Not fat. No, he was a little chub. Fluff. He was a little chubby. Okay, here we go, getting back on the QW. Ooh, that's not the one, is it? That's the one going to Hamilton. I don't that's, know where we are. I'm horrible these. with directions. These don't words. trust me. Okay, bye. So we're home right now, and uh, yes, it's finally great to be back in my own house. Have the AC blasting right now. It is hot, and um, Mel has a little surprise in me. Her and her fiance Victor 
went on a bit of a mission and they bought something for me and we have it here so I'm gonna unbox this bad boy with you guys I'm kind of lazy too but I think you guys would love to be part of it and I'm excited to open it up and I'd love to share it with you guys I am lazy though I don't like <laughs> after the past few days you guys got lots of footage no complaining about the footage you guys all right so here is the box it is as I guess I don't know if you guys can see it a guitar Yamaha electric guitar now what's the retail value at the auction they said it was like 1440 1440 that's quite a bit let's take a look at this bad boy let's open it up oh it's got it's got okay i like it i like it so far let's take a look this is a, oh shoot man my camera skills right now are crappy all right so comes with a nice carrying case this is perfect i love these carrying cases much better than the one i have for my other guitar this is nice nice stand inside perfect i have one stand over there but i really could use another one so perfect let's unzip this beauty ding 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 yeah, Mel knows I've been really into rock band lately, so I think she's encouraging me to do real rock banding. Oh, this is nice! Yeah, you like this? Holy! <clears throat> this is really nice. Big speed license, I don't know what that means. Let's look at this. Look at that body. That is really, really nice. This is my style for sure. Sort of reminiscent of, uh, of an SG style um, body. SG mixed with like a Les Paul. It's very nice. No, I, I very like the silence on it. Dry switch. Cool beans. Has a built-in whammy bar. <laughs> That's very rock band-ish. Very, very. The neck looks really nice. I like it. Oh crap. Pickups look pretty good. Oh, hey, there's uh, something in here. I am hyped. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Victor. Wow, look at the pickups. Oh, crap. This is nice. Let's see if this thing fits. Wait, I gotta get this. What is this? Come here. Come here. Oh, it's nice, huh? It's, yeah, it's in tune with itself. In tune, beautiful. Wow, this is really nice. Holy crap. I don't think I'm deserving of this. What? <laughs> you deserve everything. This is, what strings are these? Oh, nice. Woo! All right, I'm gonna try to play a little bit. But uh, I won't record that for you guys, sorry. No copyright infringement today, thank you. But uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh, so I wish I wish I recorded the last two because we kept getting 50-50s with the 100k so, and let's see if we'll do it again. Some low values. The first four cases, one, two, three, four, courtesy of Natalie. One. One. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my. Two. It's okay, Natalie. That's the back. No deal. Here is the only. Deal. No deal. You still want to record this one? Because we don't have the 100. I know. The number. We want low value. 